so here is the cargo trailer conversion tent edition. I'm going to show you my beautiful little room. I think it's lovely. It's retro. It's gypsy. It's beautiful with its uh, LED lights. And we're going to change the light color to white so we can get an accurate picture of what it really looks like. Check it out. I absolutely love it. Originally, I wanted rattan for the walls, but I... I I determined that it was going to be impossible to to find rattan rugs that were affordable for a tent and so my second thought was these vinyl rugs for the sides I wanted something lightweight that would keep you from leaning up against the outer shell which is just tarp of the tent structure I made this with one by twos very <coughs> very lightweight and very uh, uh, wood that's not real strong because we want to keep the weight down and it, I wanted this thing light enough for one person to lift on to the uh, ramp which it's sitting on the ramp of the cargo trailer conversion and lightweight enough for someone to lift off and to put on so this is a tent uh, uh, it's what, what do you call it a tent addition to the ramp. I did my best to come up with ways to make it as portable as possible, but I wasn't be able to perfect it and make it so portable that you could fold it up and put it away. You can't do that. You can take the PEX pipe out of here. This is the roof. It's made up of PEX pipe and it's absolutely amazing. I got this idea while I was thinking about how I was gonna build this trailer and sure enough, or how I was gonna build this tent addition and sure enough it worked out to perfection this is type b pex pipe they can be pulled out so that the the tarp can just kind of cave in if you're going to take it down the road and you don't want all that height you're going to throw it in the back of a pickup truck then you can pull the height down a couple of feet two or three feet and uh but you know this was not perfected for portability, which I'd love to figure out a way to do that. Now, the camera is showing you the beautiful door. I love the end result of my screen door that I built. I have a little lock up here, and then I'm gonna have a couple of eye bolts on the side. You can latch it uh, that way as well. And in here, I built a, a blackout panel. It'll It'll not only black out the door, but it'll also keep the air out. Let's say it was winter time and the weather was dry and you're able to use it in the winter. Um, you can black out and you, and you can block out, black out and block out the air and the light. So right now we're gonna go ahead and undo it because it's warm out here tonight and I want the airflow. It takes two hands to uh, roll it up and pull it to the side with, it has this wonderful uh, industrial strength Velcro, uh, but it kind of takes two hands to get it rolled up properly and Velcroed in place. So, well, yeah. I can make it tightly uh, done so that it looks excellent but with one hand, that's the best I can do. Now, here is what I wanted to show you that I perfected. I had made a little video in, uh, at the beginning when I started to build this, and I was telling you that I wanna perfect a seal. And I have almost perfected it to the point where it would be rainproof, but not quite. It's certainly wind and insect and possibly rodent proof, but I wouldn't guarantee the rodent proof if you were to do this in the winter. So what I did was, and I'll take you outside really quickly to show you how I built a seal and I need to still perfect it. I think it looks amazing. It actually looks like it belongs. So I took rubber mats. I found some at a department store and I cut them in, uh, in, you know, I just cut them in strips. I put some stainless steel uh, screws in 
to the frame of the tent. And then I pulled them on the inside and I uh, put a few screws in there, just tacked it down with a few screws, screws that can be easily removed. So the only thing you have to do to pull this structure off the, off the uh, gate or off the ramp is just unscrew those few screws that are on the inside of the trailer and that's it. Now, I think it looks amazing and I don't think you're gonna be able to see it clearly over here, it's too dark. Yeah, you can't see it. So we're gonna go back in and this is the rain fly actually for the outside. So if you are in a rain, you can run out here and put that rain fly across the door and then of course come in here and put the wind and rain fly across the front. And uh, the one on the outside will keep the rain out and the one on the inside will keep the air out. And uh, so there we go, the door is, and I put these down here to pull the door too, just like that, there you go. Okay, the floor, I turned the um, exercise mats over to the solid side and I threw in just a small pink rug and oh wow it just makes it so comfy in here and the pink was just the right shade to match the little bit of pink I have in here and this is what the seal looks like on the inside pretty impressive I need to perfect it still I'm going to put a couple of c-clamps here where the trailer the trailer meets the there's like the trailer's rain gutter and the trailer uh, meets the tent. Now, of course, I still would have to perfect um, keeping any water out that if it were outside and exposed to rain, right now it's in the garage, but if it were exposed to rain, there would be rain that would come onto the roof that's under this tarp and come down here onto that right here. So the, hold on, the C-clamps that I'm going to put on are gonna keep this structure underneath this right here. It actually pulls in real nicely. And uh, that would hold it in place. But I also need to build some kind of seal that if rain were to flow from here and down on here, um, we would be able to block it somehow. I still have, I have to develop that in my mind. I still haven't figured out how to solve that problem. But you know what? There's always an answer for everything if you think about it long enough. And uh, so that's it. That's the only thing I have to perfect. I have to perfect being able to use this out in the rain when the rain hits the roof and comes down and hits that metal piece. Now, most of it will naturally just flow down but some of it will come in through here, right here, if I do not perfect that, and I can't figure out how to perfect that yet. But this is it. It's a fair weather structure at this point, and as long as it's in the garage and, in, and it's summertime, it can, you know, it can stay out here all summer, uh, but I love it. I, the grandkids looked at it and they were so impressed. Now I'm gonna turn the light down to blue, because I love the blue. Here we go, here we go. And step back and admire my lovely little cargo trailer conversion portable tent.